trail to a new nation and what our forefathers did. Hi. You know, years ago, our forefathers used to travel this way. They go fort to fort. Uh, place to place and the Indians were in the area so they had to protect themselves. They used rifles. Uh, they set up forts. They took our land that we have and they got it piece by piece. And my family was here 1711 Silkses. Uh, my other grandfather, the Clingers, were here uh, early 1700s with the Germans and they worked hard they didn't take this easy and they protect their land through firearms and we need to be strong as the other countries are um, Indians had a big disadvantage and a lot of things in war aren't fair but it happens and the bigger person wins that's why we need to have our semi-automatics uh, right now today Tuesday the 26th of, uh, of April or March uh, Korea has uh, has our uh, artillery on alarm high alert right now because they threatened us with missiles they threatened Guam they threatened Hawaii and parts of our mainland and we need to be prepared. Uh, any other country could outnumber us and they work piece by piece. We need to have weapons just like our forefathers did. Yeah, we don't want to be outgunned. Uh, imagine just traveling these woods with nothing but a tomahawk, no flintlock. Them Indians didn't have weapons like our settlers that we had and they just traveled our settlers and they the Indians they could come up and attack anytime scalp there's a count of a fort near where I live two men got scalped beheaded another account where 11 people got killed uh, I know a preacher uh, a story of a preacher that tried to start a Lutheran church in the 1700s. He had to fight the Indians all. So anyhow, we're going to make a shelter here. Found this piece of coal. Uh, it's got other stuff in it, but a lot of coal in this country. What I got here is strings going around four trees and I just clove hitched them, square knot them and it made it on a taper so the water sheds. And I got walnut dyed shelter tarp. And all I'll do is cover this. There's the shelter. All I did was Strap it over, over them strings there, pull it tight and stake it down. A couple rocks on the left side there. At the end, a nice view, nice fire tonight. Uh, gonna get our Mountain Man General Knife Striker Survival Kit that I made. And we're gonna make a fire here. Pull out our charcoal. Put a little bit of that cotton in there. It's a wet day. So we carry stuff like this. I'm sure the old timers they had cotton too or some other easier way of getting their char going. Add another piece there.
find a sharp end, one that we're getting some sparks. Don't want that. There we go. Everything's a little harder. that tinder in there and get it going. We'll go get some kindling here. We should have some earlier. Kind of like what our ancestors did. They traveled, they had to stop. Places weren't close. Not everything was real convenient for them back then. Yeah, everything is pretty damp today. It just wood and snowed. Let that catch itself. I have some videos I'm going to show you later here of forts and things that they used to travel to and how things worked back then. But see this pack, pretty nice pack. I don't want our candle in there. But uh, we can spread our blanket out over some hemlock. I'm going to gather up more later. Make it nice and comfortable at night. And see if I can find a candle for later. I'm gonna read a book tonight. Let the, the wick work real nice. It's going to be a nice night. Not a lot of wind. Uh, we're out here doing things we enjoy. Uh, remembering our past. Remembering what our family and our forefathers did for us. Uh, life wasn't easy. They spilled blood for us. And our rights, our rights for uh, guns. They knew the importance of security. Uh, it was real. They were living with the natives in the land. Some taught them survival. Some that they didn't get along with so well. It's an unfortunate thing, but uh, they knew the reality of bearing arms. And I hope you guys can see a little bit of what they went through in this video.